Welcome back everybody to the fifth episode of Dead in Vinland. Now, we are only one day away from having to deliver the wood and we are fighting with people's um, <laughs> likeliness of suicide, I would call it. Um, but we will finish the tavern really soon and the tavern will help with that. It will actually help quite greatly with that. So, um... One thing I haven't not uh, mentioned yet, that I found while I was playing off-camera for a bit, was um, we have a maximum amount of harvested fruit. It will grow back, um, but slowly. So, uh, this will eventually deplete. Uh, we cannot constantly scavenge for food. With that being said, it's still good. It's still good, and we are getting 4 to 9 fresh fruit right now. Um, we're gonna try not to overdo it, but uh, it is something we have to keep in the back of our heads. Um, other than that, he is exploring right now. I'm not entirely sure why I'm having him explore. No, this is a mistake. She is obviously going to explore. Um, he's resting right now. She's harvesting. He's in the shelter. Um, I don't want that. Instead, I want... He's only slightly better at crafting than her, but, but they're actually quite equal, so we might as well go like this. This frees up my wife. She could go for some water, but I don't think we need it right now. Um, instead, let's do it differently. He, she's only slightly worse, so she can do this. Oh, please do it. And he can chop some wood, and that way we are all happy. Uh, you go here, friend. You go here. That leaves the rest area open. I actually want someone to rest who's kind of tired. Uh, he can actually rest for the moment. He can rest, then he can work tonight with full energy, and everyone will be happy. I think they will be just peachy. Um, let's have the day. Oh, it's minus 26. He's actually reached zero here. Ah, I don't know if I overdid it. I don't know if I overdid it. I hope I didn't. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll fast forward through this. It's, it will still be quite slow. Plus nine fruit. Her constitution increased. Her fatigue increased. She might want to take a break now. We do have nine fruit. That should be a lot for us. We do have a lot of wood, but we will need a ton of wood to build our um, camp up. So that is that is good that we have this backlog of wood. We're still struggling with the depression, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I've um, I've been playing around a little bit off camera, so I know that the tavern is actually amazing at getting rid of the depression. So I'm I'm not too scared about that. Okay, she is locked in the combat, and unfortunately, she's not particularly good at it. We're gonna need her to protect our little princess, and we need a damage dealer. Since he already is at 18 um, injury, I'm going to take him instead, even though he is slightly better because he has the effect resistance, he has initiative, and he has one more health. So he is better in every way, but he is already hurt, so I'd rather take him and get him hurt a little bit instead of get him uh, further down this spiral of uh, being hurt. Okay, it's just two knives, guys. I'm sure we can handle them. Um, we have 6 AP, so we can actually, your next and then snap shoot, or we can get our evasion up. Dodge plus 40% is extremely powerful. It's extremely powerful, but I think I want to just take him out. Um, actually, I think I want to hit and run. That's going to give me one more at the end of next turn, which is nice. I mean, we're not really like we can use it, but it's nice and we can... Uh, and we'll be in the back row, which will hopefully make them slightly we uh, weaker. So we're going to do this. She's going to retreat. We're going to end with her. I hope they go for Blood Wit. I hope they go for Blood Wit. Yes, he has to go for Blood Wit. I don't think the knife guy can attack the back row from the back row. He can attack the back row, but I'm not sure if he does. No, he tactical retreats. So it is blood wet. She will need to shield herself here because she can eh, actually, actually, uh, yeah, she will shield herself. I don't think they can actually attack my back row, but uh, she can do this, and this will give her damage resistance, which is awesome. What she will then do is she will taunt him. That will make him go up, so he can hit both both of them in the face. So, her turn ends. This gives the turn to Ustash, who will 
move up. And I would love to battle cry, but if I battle cry, I cannot attack today. Eh, I could I could have bull charged, but eh. Instead, we're gonna do the yeah. double chop. The double chop. And they're both half dead. Let's hope. Yeah, she has a good, a very good, um... She doesn't need the evasion. She can mark one of them. And then she will also double shoot, because they are in the same row right now. Uh, let's snap a shot. No, I didn't mean to... God damn it, I wasn't paying attention. I screwed that up. Let's move back, let's move back. I wanted to do the double shot, but you ha I had to move back to perform it. God damn it. But it is okay. It's just... He just hit the armor. Moving back literally gives him no advantage because both are front lines and he decided to maim Ustage and he exactly hit for his uh, protection for his armor. So we have not taken any damage this battle. It's it's a perfect outcome. It's a perfect outcome. We got some yarrow powder, some fabric, some milk, some wormwood, some crab meal and some salandine powder. All of these will come in quite handy. Um, Okay, so we now can go drinking. So we're gonna take the two people who are in the worst place. And they're gonna just be drinking together. Oh, it's a mother-daughter binge. They're just gonna... We actually don't even need beer for it. it. It's weird, like we need to... If we want to brew beer, we need um, wheat and we need the leather bottle. But if they hang out in the tavern and get hammered together, they don't need beer for it and they don't... Um, uh, they don't need beer, they don't need water, they don't need wheat, they don't need anything. They just, they, they basically just talk. They're just having some girly time here. Um, which is fair enough, which is fair enough. Now, there are many things I really want. I, I, I want to get this pretty quickly because in my off time I did see that um, we get population quite quickly. However, what will also be very good is, um, before we do this, to get a herbalist, a healing tent, a cooking pot, a forge, uh, a forge, not even that much, but I, I do want to get a fishing and a hunting camp, and we do need the mining camp eventually. Um, I think I want to start off with the hunting camp, though, or the fishing camp, or the fishing camp, one of the two. I think we're going to start with hunting, we're going to start with a hunting camp here, because we have two decent hunters with uh, the father and the daughter. We don't have a particularly good daughter um, we don't have a particularly good fisher. The father is doing it, but the father is also our best woodchuck. He's our best constructor. He's just good at everything. So I think we're gonna go with the hunting camp, and we're eventually gonna need the mining camp, which is gonna need it quite soon. But uh, I think I want to go with this first. We have the stone for it right now, so let's go for the hunting camp instead. Dryer and pants also would be nice, though the dryer isn't that important because quite soon, quite soon we won't be able to dry food anymore because we'll have a shortage. At least that was off camera. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be bad though. Wouldn't be bad. If I would get it now, if I would get it right now, I could really start getting the backlog. Wait, it doesn't cost anything? The dryer is for free? I didn't even know that. I didn't. I did not know that. You know what? Let's let's get a dryer. I want to get a dryer. Um. So she's gonna be building right now. I think we have enough food for today. And keep in mind, we cannot store right now. We cannot store. We still have the natural resource. Let's have a quick look at how much food we actually have. We have nine fresh fruit and a crab meal and some milk for three people. That's gonna be fine, especially because none of us are hungry right now. He shouldn't be taking a nap right now. What are you good at? I don't remember, Ustash. I'm sorry. There's been a few days between the last episode and this one. He is amazing at scavenging and at forestry. He is amazing at forestry, so obviously he's going to be our forester. I don't think he's good at exploring. Who's decent at exploring? Um, forestry? F uh, actually, she... Oh, no, she's amazing at exploring. He's kind of crap. Moira is also not a bad explorer, and he can kind of handle it. Mm. But Moira is chilling right now. She's just relaxing. Um. I always want to be exploring, basically, but... Yeah, actually, I think I want to do it like this. Have him explore. He's not particularly good at it, but he's not particularly bad at it either, and he can, he can take a quick nap. He's only at 44... Um, Dum dum dum. I don't. Shush, 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 shush. 
I want someone who's really tired to take a break, basically. I think it will be okay. Overnight, we will only get back minus 20 to minus 10. So 15 overnight, and this is 18. It should be okay. It should be okay. We shouldn't reach zero, and then it's fine. I don't want to reach zero, because if I reach zero, um, I'm basically wasting. <laughs> I, I, I'm wasting points there. We do have little animals. Let's inspect them real quick. And I apologize for, for the noise in the background. That, w that was... Very, very unprofessional of me. Uh, I have such it off. Inside the trunk is a family of small furry animals sharing a meal. They look funny, like wild cats, but with masks. They are trash pandas. They take a bite, they clear their muscle with paws and some sticky red juice. Too cute. Obviously, we can steal the food, we can hunt them, and we can trap them. We don't have a trap yet. And traps are produced in the hunter's launch, so we will hunt them. He's our best hunter, unfortunately. He's not particularly good at it right now. He's slightly worse at it right now because... Um, he's tired and he's depressed, but we're working on both of these stats, so you notch an arrow on your bow and aim at the animals. You wait for the biggest to stand up and again, clear its muzzle. You shoot, we have a 60% chance. We failed it, God damn it! There are lands in the bog, the whole family of strange wild cats all go out and circle the drunk protectively. They hiss at you and send the rocks. They are quite impressive actually, they are fiercer than they looked at first. Yeah, we're gonna take another shot. Oh, we only have four arrows. Oh, we, we can't, we can't try again. We only have four arrows. That is actually something I should have considered when I made the decision. Actually, I think we're doing the drying rack right now. Um, then we're probably going to have to go for the fishing instead, because that takes fishing pole, and we can make that with basically spoiled food. Whereas we need, um, we need a forge to craft more arrows. Now... We don't know what we need, but to steal, we probably want to be acrobatic or stealthy. So I'm going to take her, because she's good with that. Um, you put your hand in the trunk while the animals are too busy washing themselves. You expect to find fruit, but instead you feel some fleshy thing inside. You try to make the meat slide. The animals realize you're stealing from them and retaliate. One bites your hand, and while the others get outside and hiss at you. Okay, we got the injury. Did I get the food? Those bees, they're nastier than they look, you retreat. Okay, we need, uh, we need a trap now. We need a trap. We completely failed at everything. That is terrible. We have not done well here. We have a sunken long trip. Uh, search records, scavenge the food. We're gonna try to shoot the bird again with our hunter. I mean, he already failed. How could it fail again, right? You notice a creepy vulture hanging on the mast of the ship, guarding it. You have to make the bird go away. We can frighten it or we can try to kill it. If we kill it, it's obviously gonna give us a little bit. It needs an arrow and we have a really bad chance. But it would give us some meat. It would give us some meat. It's a vulture. What's it gonna do, right? I said we try to kill it. God damn it. Dude, you need to learn how to shoot your arrow. You take your bow and aim at the creepy vulture. The arrow flies through the air and lands on the mast. Startled discovers the squawks and circles around you, threatening. You ready yourself to dodge its attack. It vomits on you instead. <laughs> you were not prepared for that. You run away, clearly disgusted by this odd defense mechanism. It will take hours to get rid of the gooey substance of your clothes. You truly hope nobody saw that. We got even more depressed. We got sick. God damn it. It's okay, we're, we're gonna shoot. Uh, we gotta shoot one more time. We're get really getting very depressed here. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. This time we succeeded. Awesome. You take an arrow and aim at the nasty bird. The record is now clear of feathery threats. And as a side note, you procured some small game for tonight. We got some fall meat. When scavenging the wood, I want to search the record first, though. Let's search it with Ustesh. You search the record for anything useful. You quickly stumble upon the rotting corpses of the former crew. Start searching the pockets of the poor seafarers from the look of what is left of them. They used to be merchants. You salvage whatever goods the moss didn't damage. We got some rope, that's awesome. We got some bones. We got some fabric. We got some vitter shoes. We got a shepherd's hook. We got Neon's nest. We got Loki's cave. We got so many good things. So many good things. Let's scavenge the wood. Again with him because he's best at both things. You start gathering dry planks from the boat. Most of them are covered in moss, but there's still a lot to pick up. And it takes a long hours of hard work to bring them back to camp. Destroying the beautiful figurehead makes you a bit sad, but who really needs art right now? It's okay that we took him because he's not particularly fatigued. He got better at scavenging, which is awesome. We got a lot of wood. Everything went well. That makes somewhat up for the terrible experience we had with those little critters. Now, we don't need to make food. We 
do need to explore, however. We always want to be exploring. If you can, you always want to be exploring. And they're gonna... They're, they're gonna relax a bit. Um, I'm actually going to, because he's even worse than her. Actually, no. They're equal equal in sadness and in... Yeah, he's gonna rest. He's That's okay. He can have a drink with Ustache tomorrow. That's okay. We're gonna go next. See, we're getting rid... The good thing is that since it's always two people... I mean, we are losing two work times, so to speak. Because two people are sitting there. Um, but the good thing is we can heal two people. And that means we can heal about 50... Um, sadness, 50 depression every night. And, uh, and that's basically... That makes this right now the easiest to get rid of stat for us. So, even though it's the highest, it's not that bad. Ustash is in the battle, but he, I would want him in there anyway because of this. So, that's okay. Again, we're gonna take the protector. And we're gonna... We're, she's very hurt, actually. She's very hurt and I don't have a healing tent yet. That's not good. That makes me want to take him, actually. But that gives me two frontline damage. Yes, that is still okay. I'm gonna take him instead. Um, she's already yellow, so she's getting quite some penalties to her stuff. Um, I wouldn't want her to get more hurt. Ooh, five damage in the first round. That is a bad start. A very, very bad start. We're gonna hit the archer. It's gonna give her some damage resistance. And then she's gonna guard Ustash because he no longer has protection. So guarding him is a good choice. I feel like he was hit very hard in the first round. Um, the guard means and now Bloodwood gets attacked instead of him. I thought, but that didn't happen. He still got attacked. God damn it. But at least he didn't take damage. Um, she took two of the damage that was meant for him. Okay, that's how it works. That is how it works. He will definitely wild swing, but god damn it, I want to wild swing because it can hit all of them. I also want to war cry because it makes us all stronger, but the chance of hitting three enemies, it, it's just too... It's... I, I I want it so much, and it's giving me seven damage total. I, I could not have topped that with anything else I could have done. I, I feel this was the right thing to do. He's gonna he's gonna walk back, and then he's probably gonna shoot at Usash. No, he's shooting at Eric, which is good, because he still has four armor. So, he's gotten a small debuff, but that's not too bad. He can wild swing again, or he can try something else. I'm not sure if I war cry right now, if it counts over to the next round. I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm actually gonna try this. Let's yell at them. Let's <laughs> yell at our friends to get more critical. Be more critical. Um, and then we're going to... We have three skill points. We could lunge forward. But why would I want him to stand in front of my other friends? Um, instead, we are going to... We actually have a decent hit chance with this one. It's gonna reduce my dodge and damage resistance, which is kind of bad because he's already hurt. So instead, we're going to do the normal attack on him. And we're doing four damage. That's... N I I'm, I'm not... I'm not angry with that. That that works for me. Do you have... N he has the accuracy and critical. So the war cry still counts on both of them. That is awesome. So he doesn't need to war cry right now. Because it does not stack. It, it doesn't go up. Um... Like, if I walk right now, we're not reaching 30 accuracy and 14 critical. I do know that. So instead, we're going to hit both of them in the head, I think. I mean, the alternative would be I could bull charge and then melee strike. That actually also works for me. It's only one damage, though. That's... Does make me happy, but this is 100% hit chance and it does do 2 to 4 damage, meaning if I do this to him now... I can be 100% certain he's dead. We only did the minimal damage, but that was enough to kill him. So, it's Knives Guy's turn. Thankfully, he doesn't even get to uh, move this turn because we killed him on time. Let's see if she has something to hit him with. Yes, he just became the front line. So, we can hit him in the thighs. That is awesome. Um, unfortunately, we didn't hit there. We did not hit there. We could move up and then do it again. She's unfortunately standing in the range row now, which is why uh, these things don't work. And we're gonna do exactly that. 
We're gonna do that, and we've taken out the archer as well. Awesome. That gives the, the road directly to Ustage. Ah, but now he can do it, so he will have to bull charge. But he's doing a lot of damage doing them. And now we're gonna melee strike him. If I see it correctly, the next person to move is Eric, so he can war cry everyone up. Ah, damn it, it's the bad guy. Thankfully, he's going for. Ah, not thankfully, Eric also doesn't have defense ammo, but he still has. Uh, he's still buffed. He's still buffed. Oh, but only initiative buffed. So, um, we got lucky. We basically got lucky. We, it, it was not our incredible. Uh, smartness that got us through this. Now everyone has higher hit chance. Um, this is the only attack we can do, so we are going to do it. I'm gonna try to kill him this turn. I, d I don't think I wanna give it, uh, him the chance of do making it to the next turn. Uh, he's down to 2 HP. We could try this or this. The damage is... He hits 2-2-2, two, two, two. so basically if it hits, he is dead. And we have a 95% hit chance, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, and we've hit, and we've won. Unfortunately, he's taking three damage, but it's not too bad. Only three. Oh, but he's got bleeding. That's gonna give us. That's gonna give us another up to 15 injury. We should take care of that. If we do have a way of taking care of it, we will take care of it. Um, do we have an item for it? We don't. We actually don't. Go on, damn it. She's coughing. I'm not gonna spend the medicine on that. We could spend it on the nausea, but the nausea isn't too bad. Um, I don't think. I, I think I'm on, I want to hold on to this. We can give her this though against the sickness. Give her this part against the depression. Uh, we we can use our injury powder right now. It's a good moment to use it because uh, we don't have the uh, tent yet to get rid of injury another way. And again, it makes sense to reduce things from the beginning. Uh, we can increase agility on her. That is amazing because she's already so high. We can increase beast handling on Moira. Right now, I want to make everyone somewhat decent. He's very good at fishing, actually. That makes me want to get a fishing rod. And he's also decent at fishing. I'm going to spend it on him because I don't know how long we're going to keep the French man in our army. But we know the family will always be around. So, obviously, that is a good choice. This reduces fatigue but gives hunger. I'm not going to reduce fatigue before the night. If anything, I'm going to reduce it after the night. This cures quite a bit of injury, but no one's particularly heavily injured right now, so that's okay. Again, I'm not going to use this before the night, um, if anything, after the night. Unfortunately, I can't stop the bleeding right now, so we're just going to end the night. Yes. We're not going to end the night, we're going to end the day. We're going to start the night. I'm sorry for that. Eric's not speaking. No one speaking. Much fun tonight. You know, sometimes it's hard. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm fed up with these beds and almost everything on this island. Okay, I guess it's time I unveil my secret weapon. I wanted to keep it hidden as long as I could for the di direst of times, but it's time now. Spit it out, Mora. If it's another one of your jokes, it's already not funny. Shh, little girl. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I bring to you the ultimate mood reliever, the gift from Odin himself, the beverage of the gods. I name one full bottle of good meat from home. What are you waiting on for, you sly ginger fox? Open the bowl. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, if I was alone, on, like not alone, but if I was on an island with like my family and there was like nothing to do except work all day, I I'd want to be hammered 24/7. That seems uh, good. Skull. Especially if you're like a Viking. Like at this point, they all gotta have major um, withdrawal symptoms anyway. It feels great down the throat. You too, Curry. Only minus six? Are you kidding me, man? Ugh, it tastes weird. I don't like it. Give me the bottle back. I just want to be sure. I've set up a nice a little place in the camp where we can relax when the burden of this life grows heavy on our shoulders. But remember, drinking alone is sad. It's a place to enjoy good company, take the time to talk a little and drink. If we don't have alcohol, we can always just talk. It's better than nothing. Boring! Here, take these. I've had some beer left in hiding. Okay, we've got some beers. Um, 
And the problem with the beers is that they do tend to give you sickness. They, like, they can give it directly or they can get you drunk, which usually leads to a hangover and vomiting and whatnot. So, it does lead to sickness. And we don't have a way of getting rid of sickness, yet we have a way of getting rid of um, alcohol, though. Uh, of depression. So, right now, I don't think I want to use any more of the beers. I've been thinking about home lately. Home? Yes, we're almost home, sister, but... No, not this home. Our oh, first home. Let it go. You don't need to think about that. But I want to remember. Do you remember dad? Our real dad? I was too young. I remember mom's voice when she was singing lullabies for you. But dad, I can't even remember his face. We're young. And the world was kind to us. It's the only father we had as far as I'm concerned. Thorwald, yes. But the fact that he killed our real family, yes, he was rather kind. She's, she's the older uh, daughter and uh, the older sister. And obviously, if she doesn't remember the real dad and like the new dad slaughtering that family, she probably integrated quite well in the new family. But she, it must have been really hard for her living with a man who killed her family. And especially if she sees that his sister accepts it. Don't talk about that. You always get upset. You can't understand. You were too young. But I have memories of the life that was stolen from us. Alright. I forgot to make water. God damn it. <laughs> Why didn't you remind me? Um, I should have made one more water. We're gonna go like this. It's not too bad to be dehydrated one. Um, actually, it is pretty bad. I take it back. I could have given half a water to her. Okay, it, it's still okay. It's still okay. Um, two people are dehydrated. One that it's not the end of the world. Actually, gonna take quite some food to tomorrow. I mean, some will rot tonight, which, which is kind of bad, but um, it, it's not too bad. And let's go like this. I'm actually gonna keep the hunger. I I'm okay with it. trying this. It's okay. We're gonna keep it like this. I'm happy that we are taking this much food to the next day. Especially because we are finishing up the drying rack, so we can actually dry up some food. She stopped coughing. That's awesome. Uh, he's quite sick and they are borderline sick. Yeah, everyone's borderline sick. We, we need to get the healing tent up at some point. The problem with the healing tent is when I was playing offline I saw it needs a herbs. So we also need to get up the herbalist. Like these two only work together. You can up the healing tent first though because um, it does come with a few herbs. Okay, we are on the next day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for day 7. Have a great day everybody.